welcome everyone today i'm going to share with you a treasure for real challenging math problems so some students might be already well versed with school level math problems they might find this really interesting you can meditate with these for hours and they also hone your math problem solving skills the national math olympiad contest level so also students approach me for the same so i think it will be really helpful to discuss with you the resources that i have in my mind and i also use it to hone myself so i have separated this uh, discussion into two parts first a general resource where you can find all sorts of uh, problems from all chapters based on math olympia secondly categorized approach so we know four major chapters in olympia math olympia are combinatorics geometry number theory and algebra so we will get to them separately and the resources will be shared based on the contest for individual subjects let's get started first it is the aops community in which you can find a general all subject problems so if you open aops you will get the first introduction page of that and then if you navigate to the community section you will be able to see a drop down that says my aops my messages my bookmarks and forums and it is generally advisable to create an account so that you can share your solutions with your colleagues and the friends and refer to your particular answer let's go to the forums i really find this fascinating that it has eclectic collection of problems now it depends on the type of problems first let me explain the type of problems you have middle school level and high school level math problem so these two communities are based on us math curriculum so this is us school math curriculum these are not going to be as challenging as your math olympiad but still it will be really good for beginners middle school means like uh, grades 5 to 8 and high school 9 to 12 and as you progress you will see another community called contest and programs so there you will be discussing the facts about contests preparation strategies and uh, tutoring and so on followed by you have college math community where you can uh, see some discussions on college type college math type problems you have group theory you have uh, topology and uh, you have calculus and so on so the discussion is focused on college level math but the collection of math olympiads in high school math olympiad community is even more diverse let's open that now you could see several tags and these represent the topics mostly like inequalities inequalities unsolved you have number theory unsolved trigonometry geometry so every day there are numerous hundreds of problems being uploaded in geometry only i can guarantee you that and these are not a particular uh, focused contest problem these are really a diverse set of problems see you have uh, for example here from usamo and uh, the next is from dgo i'm not sure about the expansion of that olympiad and then you have rmo the regional math olympiad in india and indonesia national math contest and uh, you have india imotc i will talk about contest wise approach a bit later but you could see that topic wise this is really interesting If you want algebra just click on algebra you will get algeb uh, algebra type problems posted onto it so you need not worry about the nature of these problems because this is going to be diverse that goes without any saying so this is a reliable source for all of them that i would put in a general category now coming to contest level approach so go to community and in the same drop down you will be able to see contests click on that and you will be displayed international contests national contests and uh, undergraduate contests undergraduate contests include but not restricted to the putnam competition and you also have brazil undergrad mo and so on so a lot of these contest name uh, is difficult to pronounce and you have junior olympiads people who are in lower grade can uh, do from these contests and you have team selection tests so who are well versed even in 
national level math olympiad should attempt this and even by the way indian uh, imotc tst problems the team selection test problems are out for this year 2025 and you can access it from here people have posted as soon as the test ended so just navigate to india imo training camp and you could see 2025 india imo tc just click on that you will get day 1 three problems day 2 three problems so basically it is a mock test for imo so it is conducted in the same pattern as imo you have also day 3 day 4 we have discussed a couple of problems from this in our imo problem solving classes they are really good and i do feel this time the problems were on the easier side all right coming back to the contest page you could see the junior olympiads and the various national olympiad like argentina national olympiad azerbaijan national olympiad brazil national olympiad canada national olympiad china national olympiad and ecuador mathematical olympiad and so on it's like almost infinite collection and now year wise based categorization of the contests you can find 2025 2024 2023 2022 is here and also you can access the early years contest from here so it's almost like infinite and all these are reliable sources for math olympiads so take help uh, of this for your general approach like uh, you know not based on particular like combinatorics or only geometry you can solve any type of problems from these sources i would say the high school olympiads is of the difficulty level equal to rmo and higher in indian based math olympiads and there are also problems in junior olympiad that are of iqm level so give it a try based on your uh, choice all right secondly let's go to particular particular topic based approach so first uh, we categorize the subjects into four categories combinatorics geometry number theory and algebra let's go to the first combinatorics usually when students ask me for a reliable or fascinating source for combinatorics the very first thing comes to my mind is the tournament of towns contest this is a contest conducted in russia and the problems are really intriguing and that requires critical thinking i always take inspiration from this contest problems for my game theory based problems like uh, you have two people and you need to figure out a strategy or winning strategy for one of them based on certain conditions so i really love these problems working through them and finding a way out of it you should always remember that your approach is unique so you can come up with these ideas in your own way you need not look at the solution but of course after hours of meditation you can uh, look at the solution they are also provided so here is the official website of uh, tournament of towns international mathematical tournament of towns if you want to attend this contest you have to be present in person in either russia or canada or parts of australia so uh, the towns in australia and canada are restricted whereas in russia there are several towns in which it is conducted but if you can uh, not participate you can also work through the past year problems go to the official website that is displayed here just search for tournament of towns and the russian website that comes up in the recommendation which is either in the first or second recommendations should be the official one go to the problem section of it and you could see problems in two sessions fall round and spring round it just means that the contest is conducted in two sessions two varied sessions one in fall time and other in the spring time and the o level means uh, for lower grade level and a level is for higher grade ones so you will find it difficult but you can still attempt both of them just uh, open it and give it a shot of course you will love with game theory type problems that's what i feel and the problem starts from 2025 and uh, goes down all the way up to 2015 and still there are uh, even older or earlier versions of these uh, papers you can have a look at them and uh, if you are well versed with these kind of problems and you want to try even more harder ones then the next go to is the imo shortlist problems they are of course available in aops collection the aops contest collection and they are also available online you can just search imo shortlist 2013 problems like that and you can get a pdf of those problems 
all the resources are available online but getting a reliable resource and spending time is what all matters okay now um coming to geometry the problems in iranian geometry olympiad contests are really challenging in terms of geometry they sort of uh, test or tease your euclidean plane geometry uh, skills so you have to learn some knowledge i would suggest euclidean geometry in math olympiads by ivan shenbok for learning the concepts once you are done with learning it try attempting the contest problems from the iranian geometry olympiad now the contest all contest collection are not directly available but if you go year by year you can get a nice organized pdf that is systematically giving you the elementary level intermediate and advanced problems and their solutions you can search this in google but of course you can also go with another website that is imo geometry blogspot So in this website all the IGO problems are collected from 2014 to 2022 and each problem has a link to AOPS discussion so this problem is also discussed in AOPS and this link will redirect you to that AOPS discussion so there are three levels junior senior elementary medium and uh, advanced So based on your choice you can select and attempt the problem this is really good Sharigan Geometry Olympiad is also a very good contest for geometry problems so here is the a uh, website for the same if you open it it will redirect you to this page after searching in google then go to the geometry.ru that's the actual russian website and then um you may wait up to it translates to english then click on the first one geometrical olympiad named after if sharjan after clicking on that you will get to the actual official uh, site and let's say i want to open 2010s uh, contest problems you just have to click on the 2010 number 2010 button and then you will get correspondence round and the final round correspondence round is the first one and the final round is the second one final round will be difficult So if you are starting to work on these kind of problems please go to correspondence round you are provided with the question pdf as well as the solution pdf so this is going to be really fantastic uh, realm of problems now if you are comfortable with correspondence round you may navigate to the final round again solutions are available for the final round as well if you go uh, below if you go a bit below you will be able to find the winners of the final round from various parts of the world even for the last 3 years chinta is holding the final round in the uh, indian con- subcontinent so if you were interested in these kind of problems you may have to submit your correspondence round to the sharijan committee then they will give out the list the participants list who was selected for the final round and you will be called to the final round um, to attend in the center wherever it is and uh, that's a oral test so you will be required to respond to the jury member all right uh, let's go to number theory so for number theory the best book that i would suggest instead of contest i will suggest a book that is 104 number theory problems by t2 and rescue here is the book and uh, it is written by others uh, as well Dorin Andrika and Zoming Feng it is from the training of USA IMO team and this problems uh, these problems are really challenging but they have provided some introductory problems as well in the section 2 if you are not comfortable with advanced problems you may try the introductory ones then attempt the advanced ones the solutions are also provided so i think this is the go to source that comes into my mind when it comes to number theory but for algebra i do not have a particular source uh, i feel that problems all around or in the general aops community i mentioned earlier are all going to do the same good so it's better that you can follow the general one or if you have particular books you can follow them as well i hope this is uh, really helpful for your endeavors and your career building towards math olympiad Take care everyone see you later bye